living in rural America out with the farmers. Put that away so I don't lose it. So this is just kind of a summary of where, where we're at. All the unexpected surprises that you don't think of, like the grass isn't getting mowed here, which is normal. But I didn't think about it and I knew that. So I borrowed a weed eater from a neighbor and went ahead and cut down all the grass so I, we could see what, what we're walking on, especially me. I'm old, overweight, worried about twisting an ankle. It's not like I can twist an ankle and say, hey, I'll come back and do it next week because I flew out here for the week. So another curveball is, I don't know if you can see the orange lines in, in the grass there, and there's some flags down there, and the flags here. I think the inside one is the copper and the outside one is the fiber which doesn't leave a whole lot of room for us to pull the um, electrical down in a, underneath the culvert, which I'm not sure why we need to do that anyways, but that's what they kind of recommended. I'm gonna call them and ask if it's okay if we go straight across um, the canal. By the way, the ditch here is called a canal and it's owned and operated by the Grand Teton Canal Company in, in Teton County. And this is how they manage the runoff from the mountain. It's sorry about pointing straight into the sun, but it's early. It's like eight o'clock. And so this is how they manage the runoff to get it, you know, to the rivers or to the farms um, that need it, um, managing the water supply. Um, so I cut this down in case we can go straight across and then a little over You know and I don't know how this thing works when it's on your head whether or not this is going to be too jerky Or not. We'll see how much we can use Up. And there they're they do a lot of hay in this valley. And so yesterday when I was out here, they were actually running the machine that clumps it all together so that that thing when it runs can pick it up and make hay bales out of it. So I haven't measured that, which I probably should have, but I believe that's about 24 feet um, between the two poles. This is where the driveway is going to go. So working on all this, first thing I had to do is get in an easement on the easement of on my property to begin with from the Grand Teton Canal Company to put a culvert in here. Um, culvert's a fa fancy name for a pipe. And I'm doing a cement pipe that is elliptical. So it doesn't go up as high because, you know, from here, it's going to come up to here. I mean, it's, it's going to be a fairly dramatic up and then down. And so we're going to have to put a lot of extra rock out on my property to smooth it out because I need construction equipment, you know, trailers bringing um, sips and trusses and that kind of stuff. So that's one of the concerns I've got with all this. Um, so, and then if you look out from this side of the driveway, this side of the driveway is 110 feet from the corner of my property. And I'll walk up there before everybody gets here and show you that. So I went out about, uh, 70 yards, which is how far the driveway is going to go. So the driveway, sorry, I got to look down to make sure I don't trip. Let's 
So this is where the driveway is going to go. It's going to go straight. Out here, about 70 yards. And then it's going to do a little swoosh, a little S, and end up just on the other side of, there's some rocks out here where when we bought the property, I needed to get a septic field test done because the amount I had to put down was a lot less. If you had electrical and septic coming on your, on your property and a septic field test was good enough, you didn't have to put down as much from where I was getting the loan from. So it's gonna come out here about straight. Then we're gonna do a little less, little less kind of like a river down this way. And now where I let grass is, that's where the septic field test was done. I guess it wasn't very even, even. it was done in the winter, not surprising. But the company that I have taking the hay off of my property went around that instead of uh, getting any of that stuff gummed up in their machinery, which makes sense. And then the house is gonna be right on the other side. Well, the workshop's gonna be right on the other side of the, of where the septic field test was done. The septic field actually gonna be down on down that way. I wasn't thinking when I had the septic field test done here because the valley flows downhill the direction I'm looking. We don't want the septic to be pushed uphill. And you can see that I've, you know, laying out this land was hard. It's 20 acres and you really can't see from one side to the other. So I was spent a lot of time doing it by myself. There's something to be said about having a helper. I'm hoping to find some high school kids who are looking to go into construction, pay them 10 bucks an hour, and come out and be helpers as I'm doing a lot of this stuff. Because I could have gotten this place laid out about four times faster if I could have had someone to go, no, move to the right, let me look, uh, see how that works. But here's the corner of my property. There used to be a beautiful yellow bush here. And I think once I put in my information from the Grand Teton company and they saw this, um, they realized it was in the canal. They ripped it out, but they also messed up the edge there quite a bit, which is where my corner property stake is. So I added that one. Uh, the farm people down there did the same thing. They added one uh, to enhance where the corner was but I'll fill that in with cement and I'll put a board to re-establish an edge there and also to protect the corner property line stake. So that's what I got done over the weekend. It's Monday, waiting for my contractor, Clint, to show up as far as being the excavator. And coming up with a game plan for the week. You can see I already have a few bits and pieces here. Also waiting for the company that I bought everything from to show up. So I've got schedule 80 pipe coming both in three inch and one and a half. Turns out I don't need the one and a half. At least not now. Um, I thought the uh, the fiber optics for the cable was coming off the telephone pole and it's not, they actually buried it. That's why, you know, the flags are there. Um, so now I've got to take it from the corner of my property. That's a whole nother story I'll cover in another video. And so 
I'll have the extra, I'll just leave it on the property. As you can see, there's all this grass growing here. I'll throw it in the grass. I'll know where it is. Um, it probably will be fine. Probably shouldn't put that in the video in case somebody in the valley sees it and says, hey, I'm gonna come out and get a whole bunch of schedule 80 one and a half inch pipe. But we'll figure it out. Um, so that's where we're at. I'll give you another update. I'll film, I'll try and film some of the stuff as we're doing it, but it's hard being here by myself, not having a home base to get everything's prepped and everything. But I'll do my best to get a little video here and there.